Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, we have two new codes giving us 20 extra pulls, which is super nice. Nice to see they're actually giving us some decent codes now. Um, massive shout out to the Analytica Discord for, uh, for posting these codes. I actually just got a notification and that's how I, I knew about it. I missed the other one that was probably like... I want to say 12, more than 12 hours ago. I completely missed that, but I just got a notification. So massive shout out to the Analytica Discord uh, for posting it. That's where I saw it. Uh, so the first one is AFKJ10. Boom, we get 10 summons there. Uh, and then the A other one is AFKJ Gift. And that is another one. Now, unfortunately... For the very few of us who are on the test server, none of the codes work on the test server, so it's a massive rip over there, which is where I really want them because it's like my account's pretty stacked uh, for a free-to-play anyway, and the free-to-play account on the test server is where I really need the resources. But that is what we get. Two codes, pretty solid, better than what we got at launch where everything was like 100 diamonds, 200 diamonds, getting some actually solid codes. Now, like, hey, I'd love to see some raid-ups or some stargazers, but, you know, I'll take 10 pulls. It's a good start. So let's kick off this one with just pop up these summons and see if we can get something i don't know how close to pity oh we're 13 away from pity okay who do i want uh the most on this account i need like two more shakir copies but i know i can get one from the thing dude i'm, I'm almost at the point where there's no point in summoning i and th that's crazy to me like my my free-to-play account here because if i look at things shakir obviously i want to get him uh to supreme but we do get a copy from the new season selector chest. So that's where I'll get the last one. So I only need one more copy of a Shakir, uh, uh, essentially. Um, yes, I need two more Huon copies, but I can get them from the shop. And if we look at everything else, Igor, I don't care about. Brutus, I don't care about. Granny's okay, but I'm not too stressed. Reese, not stressed. Rhino, not stressed. Her, I can't even remember her name. It's a weird one. I always forget it. Not stressed. Elsa, I really don't care about. Who else have we got? Florabelle. I mean, Florabelle, I wouldn't mind having the extra copies of. Uh, who else do we even have? Cassidy, I, I'm really not interested in. And Brian, I'm not interested in. But, uh, you know, <sighs> Ludovic, yeah. So, basically, Ludovic and Florabelle are, like, the only two characters left that I actually half care about building. So, even though we have issues with the Raider banner, I feel like my standard banner, I did get super lucky early on. Like, the, 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 it just, the standard banner just feels so useless to me. <laughs> All right, let's jump into it and see how we go. All right, let's go. Let's pop two temples. Ideal, ideal situation. We get a Shakir. B grade situation. We get a um, dude. Hey, I'm happy with that many purples. Actually, just just fill me up with the purples. The the B tier situation is if we get uh, honestly even Huon, Huon, Florabel, or uh, what's his face, Ludovic, and then anyone else is the C tier. Dude, did. Did real decent there. Dude, I really hope Olmus goes into the shop. I really do hope Olmus goes in the shop because currently, where, where's he at? Oh, not guild, not guild. Go to characters. Uh, where's my Olmus at? Dude, where is he? There he is. Dude's almost mythic. Three copies away from mythic. Like, my Olmus is coming along not too bad. Like, pretty solid. All right, let's go here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do these two singles and then ten pull because that is the best chance in the world you ever have at getting a double. So why not have a crack at it? And now we're back out. Ooh, dude. Dude, our purple rates are on fire. All right, give me a double. Give me a double. Give me the double. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a Vala on this account too. That's, that's fair. So there's four okay characters to pull. Can we get one of them? Oh, dude. Three purples. I thought it was going to be a double. Okay, Vala. Yeah, there we go. Val is just that slow burn. We'll, we'll gradually get her there. We'll get her there. How do we go on the rest? Where do we go on the purples? Three purples. Three almost, please. I need to rack up this almost. I really need to rack up. Nero. Uh, Nero Lucius. Uh, yeah, that, that, that wasn't too good. Dude, where is my Valor even at? I feel like I didn't even see her in the hero category. Wait, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Okay, we're one away from Mythic Plus on our Vala. So yeah, Vala's another one I'm happy to get some copies of. I'm happy to get some copies of Vala. So that's not too bad. As for everything else, uh, with Lenya, 
Uh, for those wanting an update on Lenya, I haven't made another video on her because I've literally seen nothing from her. Um, I've been checking District 1 as well as checking my district and test checking the test server ever since she came out. Uh, and she's, do she's doing nothing, nothing in bosses. Um, it, it, we can even filter for her to try and find her. Dude, that took forever to drop down. There's not, there's not even a single formation. Uh, wait, what, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Lone Gaze. Nothing. Snow Stomper, nothing. Necro. Uh, I don't think she's been around for these. But yeah, you, you can see like... D d did I mess the filter up? No, just no one's using her. Uh, if we go here... Boom, yeah. Yeah, she, she's doing nothing. I, I haven't actually seen too much testing from people. I've just basically seen that she is not getting any use. So that was my initial thought. Even though her multiplier on her exclusive equipment was looking like being a massive multiplier when after every basic, uh, she was going to be doing like, what was like 1,500% damage multiplier. But unfortunately, it just doesn't seem to be keeping up with the... Um, yeah, I mean, 70% eight times... Uh, and stunning for two seconds. So yeah, that's a 1500% multiplier after every basic attack that crits with an attack buff and a crit damage buff. Like, you would think that would be doing boss damage, but apparently she's just not putting in the damage because we are not seeing her anywhere. Um, but a, lo a lot of it is true damage based. So maybe she has more fluidity in the early season, but I still just don't think it's worth it. She's a cool character. Uh, I do think she's amazing for PvP. I still definitely think she is a great PvP unit for those that summon for her. But once again, it's a safe skip. We've got we've already got all the information coming out about the uh, the new season. We've seen that Nara's coming. We've seen the other old mate that's coming, and we've seen the Celestial bloke dude i hope the celestial dude is awesome because he looks so savage uh i, I really want to go all in on that guy at, at least on one of my accounts now i've got the two accounts i can choose which one i want to go on and i've got a pretty decent savings uh on both accounts because if we look at this one where where am i at let's actually check this one dude i'm so excited for the next celestial and hypergen uh 78 so i'm essentially two copies uh pity copies guaranteed here uh and then guild store where another four copies guaranteed here so we're six copies guaranteed at the moment. Not too bad, but I am also considering heavily on this account. So maybe this account, uh, I skip I skip the next Celestial and I just do the, the Taylene copies because if I get two more Taylenes and then we get that one extra selector, I can just beef out my Taylene and then I can put all the reds into her uh, and get her completely beefed out so that she can dominate. That's probably what I'm looking at. But yeah, I think in general... I, I, I'm just I'm just in the waiting room, guys. I am just in the new season waiting room, waiting for the new season to drop so that we can see what heroes we get. Uh, I'm probably going to go on this account. Um, I just don't have that much resources. So on this account, I, I'm probably, unless we get a good chunk of resources at the start of the new season, I'll probably just have to skip the first banner. Um... I just don't think I'll get the character to high enough investment. But I'm also going to wait and see how that swap thing that they've spoken about works because maybe I can just summon and get however many copies I can get of the first hero uh, and then swap them for the next hero and then continue to summon on that next hero and then maybe I'll have something of use. But I'm not too sure exactly how it's going to work. We've got to wait and see more details of that. But that is kind of where we're at. But guys, I'm excited for the new season. Test server gets it in five days. A little less than five days now, like four and a half days we get on the test server. So I'll definitely be bringing you guys the content. I'm just hanging out for it to see what we get. I think the new season looks cool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up now. Get your codes, get your extra 20 summons, and best of luck in your summons. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.